And I'm buddy with the Grimms for report. Sorry about that. My little thing seems not to want to work. It, it just vanished. This one's going to be an interesting, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Because this is all a legend about the Bell Witch legend. Now, this could be one of those most well known horror stories, Tennessee. One of the most. Of course, and again, just about everybody who's. Never mind. Let's get off of that fact. This started in the early 19th century, guys. John Bell and his family were haunted by a. Um, Malevolent, malevolent spirit. Malevolent spirit. Basically, you know, one of those things that just don't leave you alone. It's like a poultry, guys. It is supposedly haunting. God, so bad, guys, that it took John Bell's life. Yes, it took his life. It, yeah. And continues to haunt and cast mile all over North Tennessee. It said that his family was under attack of an invisible spirit or something of the sort, guys. They're not really sure. They could be like out, up in here. This happened between 1917 and 1821. Spirit did a lot of bad stuff. I'm not going to go into detail, but I could... You could shape shift, guys, among other things. This even this there is a even movie as far as there's a movie called As Fast as Light. In one report, it said it was clairvoyant. I'm the expert, guys, but I'm the expert. We all know this. <laughs> I'm not an expert on anything. I just investigate. Or not investigate. I wouldn't even call that. I look these things up. I'm not even a researcher. Well, I guess you could say I'm an armchair researcher. I do everything online, so I'm an online researcher. There you go, that works. Guys, whatever this thing was or whatever it was for messing with these folks, it had to be, it was very bad. I mean, this thing, if it cast a spell all over Tennessee, and we all know bad things happen in Tennessee anyways, it couldn't have been good. Now, like I said, this thing... was horrible. Pretty bad. I know this is going to be a short one, but I'm always known for short ones. During the era of the month, I always do short ones. Long ones at the beginning, short ones near the end. <laughs> but I was going to take what's left of this little bit of time and tell you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, there is going to be a Halloween special. Put up on Halloween. I pre-recorded it with my man Dave. Now we all know Dave; he's a great guy, awesome guy. But he has some creepy Halloween stories. One involving Bigfoot, but I have a couple of my own. Now I'm gonna let you think on that. See you next Monday. Good luck. Good night. God bless.